I have had a busy couple of weeks since the last upload, so I've not really finished anything. However, I am right on the cusp of finishing Triangle Strategy. The story feels like it's coming to a climax, things are getting very serious and tense. The game even warned me right before a major decision sequence that I was going past a point of no return and that I should make a backup save. That kind of thing does sort of take you out of the moment, which is kind of annoying, but Triangle Strategy is one of those games with a bunch of branching paths that all lead to not only different story outcomes, but entirely different maps to play. So from an immersion standpoint, it's kind of crap. But as a player who doesn't enjoy having my time wasted, being told that is a greatly appreciated feature. Um, there is a problem with my progress in Triangle Strategy, though, and that is that my wife has decided that it's now her time to do her play a bunch of puzzle games thing that she does about once a year. So she doesn't play the games all that often, but every now and then again she'll just become obsessed with Dr. Mario and Tetris 99, and she'll play the shit out of them for like a week or two, and then never touch them again. Uh, the Switch SNES thing also has Panel Dupont, and I introduced her to that, which uh, she doesn't like as much as the other two, but she seems fairly intent on getting good at it either way. But I'm not mad about, you know, her hogging my Switch for a while, because one, it's nice to see her sharing and partaking in the hobby, and two, it gave me a good chance to start playing Death's Door. For those who don't know, Death's Door is a game that came out in 2021 and it piqued my interest immediately because you get to play as a crow and crows are my favorite kind of bird. Uh, this game is a little bit Zelda, a little bit Dark Souls, the inspirations are extremely obvious, but it's got a ton of personality of its own and I'm having a great time exploring its world and fighting through its dungeons and what have you. Uh, the one dungeon that I've cleared was actually really cool, it was kind of an underground industrial area with all these pistons going off in the background that you have to use as platforms and uh, the pistons would move in time with the background music and it made the atmosphere just really awesome I loved it it was sick uh, the combat's a little bit basic but I'm not gonna say anything definitive about that just yet because I only have like two of the four question mark abilities so maybe things will ramp up as I get deeper in the game um, also, I went to the Wikipedia page to get the release date information and found that this game was developed by a two-person team from Manchester, which is the place I grew up in and used to live before I moved to Japan permanently. So, you know, well done, lads. So far, Death's Door is fucking mint, in it, bruv? There is a uh, one other thing I want to bring attention to, which is a game I found during my free game dive stream, and it's called Unbeatable White Label. It's a demo, I guess, of an upcoming rhythm game. I'll link their website in the description. And it has a such a high degree of polish that it's almost hard to believe that it's one free and two a demo. Uh, the art style is really cool and it features about 12 songs with five difficulty settings each. And there's even a bit of a story going on for you to experience that I don't want to talk about so you can just go and Try it for yourself. Um, it's something I'm going to be keeping a close eye on for when the finish, finished version comes out, uh, since I'm really enjoying this demo so much. Um, there's seemingly no release date that I can find with a quick glance at their socials, but either way I'm still excited for the full thing. Anyway, that's it for this week. I'm going to go and try and grab my Switch to finish off Triangle Strategy, and if I can't do that, I'm just going to play Death's Door, so peace.